Hi everyone, welcome back to Study Planet. Today I wrote my Kaushalyam Initiative Program exam and I just want to share my full experience with you all. I will tell you how I registered, how I logged in and how the other verification happened and what questions came and also the issue I faced with the communication test and the location. Before I talk about my exam experience, I want to share something important about the exam schedule. I actually received three mails about my exam. The first mail I got, my exam was on December 4th at 9 p.m. This was completely wrong. Later, I got another mail saying that my exam is actually on December 2nd at 11 a.m. So the first email was a mistake. In the mail, they told us we must reach the Sachwalayam 15 minutes before the exam. But honestly, I was confused because of the wrong mail. So I decided to go one hour before. Going one hour earlier actually helped me a lot. When I reached the Sachwalayam, they told me something shocking. Uh, they said if the power goes off, uh, the system in the Sachwalayam will shut down and my exam will be lost. Uh, they have said if you don't want to take that risk, uh, you should bring your own laptop. So I had to go back home and bring my own laptop. And also, they also told me that I should use my own mobile data or hotspot. If the power of uh, the Wi-Fi may be disconnected, I don't know how it in other such volumes, but in my center, this was the rule. So if you're planning for the exam, make sure you have at least 1.5 GB data in your mobile. So here's my personal suggestion to everyone watching this video. Uh, don't go just before 15 minutes, uh, go at least one hour earlier and ask the staff clearly if anything else is required, laptop or mobile data, anything related to the exam and don't just assume everything will be provided. And because at the end of the day, your exam is your responsibility. If something goes wrong, uh, they will simply say, we don't know and we will face the, you will face the problem. So before writing the test, First, we have to register on Kaushalyam platform. You can register using your mobile number or some people also get other verification during the registration process. After you enter your mobile number, the platform sends an OTP. Once you verify the OTP, your account gets created. So this entire process was uh, told by the people who are in such volume. You no need to worry about this. After that, the website will ask you to complete your profile. They give around 10 to 20 questions. Uh, there are very simple questions like what skills do you like? What type of job role do you prefer? And what is the education background? And are you interested in learning new skills? Just answer those questions normally. There is nothing difficult in that part. And once the profile questions are done, the platform will ask for other EKYC. You just need to enter your other number and an OTP will come to other linked mobile number. After you enter that OTP, your eKYC is completed and your dashboard gets activated. Now, after everything is completed, your dashboard will show two assessments, skill assessment and communication test. Skill assessment 45 minutes and communication assessment uh, 15 minutes. Each assessment will show your time slot. For example, you turn at 11 a.m. Until your time slot comes, you cannot start the test and the timing uh, given on a skill assessment and communication test uh, when you going to start this test, the timing will run up to the time slot. After only your time slot comes, you can start your test. Now I completed all the platform setup and I was ready to take my test. My exam time was 11 a.m. So after the clock reached 11, the test got enabled on the dashboard below the skill test option. There was a start button. I clicked on that button to begin my exam. So I'm sharing this so that uh, you don't face the confusion and I face it. Be prepared and go early. Carry your own laptop and mobile data. Hope this helps you. Before the test starts, we must grant all the permissions it asking. The platform will check webcam, microphone, system capability and internet speed. Everything needs to be green for the exam to begin. After that comes the main step, location verification. When I clicked verify location, a QR code was generated on my laptop screen. I had to scan this QR code using my laptop, my mobile. Uh, only after scanning it and verifying the location, the exam will start. But in my case, the location verification took almost 20 minutes, even though I was sitting inside such volume. The system kept showing uh, you are 
250 meters away cannot access the exam. This was completely wrong. I was exactly in the right location, but the platform was detecting a different place. So the officer at Sachwalayam told me to try from outside. He walked some distance away to the old Sachwalayam building. I sent him the QR code on his mobile and he scanned it from there. When he scanned the QR code from the location, that location, the system showed location verified. Why it happened? Later, I understood the issue. The location in their system was uh, saved as the old Sachwalayam address. But I was sitting in the new Sachwalayam building, so the system kept showing that I was far away. Once the location finally got verified, the platform showed the Agree and Start Test buttons. I clicked on Agree and then the Start Test turned green, meaning it was activated. After clicking Start Test, my exam officially began. Now I want to share test pattern. I am from a technical background uh, and so I, I will tell you what sections I got in my exam. Even non-technical students like a BJC or degree students, uh, they also get the same three sections. Uh, the only difference is the difficulty based on their background. For me, the exam had three sections, aptitude 10 questions, psychometric 10 questions and technical 20 questions. Aptitude was medium level, not too hard and not too easy. Just basic reasoning and math. Psychometric was so simple. There are personality type questions. So just select what matches you. Technical section. The technical section was the main part. They focused more on Python, data structures, Java basics, and algorithm time complexities. In Java, the questions were very easy. Just simple theoretical questions from OOPS concepts like inheritance, polymorphism, and abstractions. In data structures, they mainly focused on algorithm and time complexities. And Python, uh, they asked three to four MCQs. And at the end, they gave two coding questions. We have to write the code in Python, but no need to run that code. Just type it and submit. In total, technical had around 15 MCQs. Three to four fill in the blank questions also they give in and two Python coding questions we have to write must these questions. This completes the technical part. After writing everything, I clicked on submit. After I clicked on submit, I expected the communication test to open, but instead the whole exam closed and I was taken back to the dashboard. There was no communication test for me. It didn't show it didn't show up at all. And I asked the officer in Sachwalayam, but even they said, uh, we also don't know why this happened. So even the staff were confused. When I refreshed my dashboard again and again, it showed your communication text is expired. But the truth is, I never even got the chance to write it. This totally confused me. When I checked the leaderboard, it showed I got 150 points for the skill test. But still, there was no communication test score. Later, the platform showed a reschedule exam option. I didn't want to take any risk, so I clicked on reschedule. Now I am waiting to see whether I get a new mail with a new exam slot or not. So this is my complete experience with Kaushalyam Initiative Program. If you also face similar issues, please comment below and share your experience. And if you are someone who is interested in technical job updates, especially for BTEC or any technical background, please check out my channel. I post a lot of useful content for students who are applying for software jobs. I apply for jobs daily. And whenever I get a mail within one week or even within two days, I try to make a video immediately and share that update. I only share the emails I personally receive. And uh, if the job link is still active, I also share that link so you can apply. I want everyone to get opportunities along with me. So if you are interested in, in this job updates, please like, share and subscribe to Study Planet. Thank you so much for watching.